What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Disgaea 7. In this video, we are going to be going over how you unlock Carnage mode. And this is actually incredibly, incredibly easy compared to some of the past games. So, first thing is first. You obviously need to complete the main campaign. There are 15 episodes in the game. Once you complete all 15 of these scenarios, you will then be able to pass a bill in the Dark Assembly, which unlocks the post loot atonement map. Once you then clear that stage, a new bill will be available to pass, which will unlock post loot rem uh, reminiscence. Once you clear that one, there will be one final bill, which once passed will then unlock post lewd Zesho. You need to first clear these three stages. Now, once you have cleared this stage, the post lewd Zesho, then you will have four new quests appear on the quest shop these four quests let's just go to them so these four quests okay are win evil prizes bounty item guard 9999 moves ahead and i want to see the best you can easily tell these quests apart because each rewards 50 cp once you clear these four quests so once you complete all four of these then carnage mode will unlock the first one is receiving the overlord tier evil gotcha completion bonus this is beyond ridiculously easy all you need to do is go through each tier use the gotcha and then complete uh, sorry claim complete perks once you claim that you will eventually move on to the next one and before you unlock carnage you can get up to overlord simply keep going through unlocking them as you go also if you want to know how to farm rp in infinite amounts check down below in the description for the disguise 7 playlist so that one is by far the easiest to get and honestly you'll probably have that one as soon as you unlock the quest Next one is defeat an item guard. Now, there are a few things to note about item guards in this game. <clears throat> Firstly, in order for an item guard to spawn, you first need to be in a legendary item. The reason for that is item guards will only spawn on floor 30. And legendaries and epic items are the only ones that you can go to floor 30 on. Normal quality items can only go to floor 10. And rare quality items can only go to floor 20. So you do need a legendary item. Next up, you must advance all the way through to floor 30 where an item god will spawn. Then you simply have to kill the item god. Now, if you are using the item god to try and upgrade equipment to the next rank, then the item you are in also needs to be at least level 250 as well. Next up, we have 9,999 moves ahead, which is clear a Super Overlord class game of Demon Shogi. This one is actually a little interesting. However, you can cheese the ever-living crap out of this one. So all you need to do for this is firstly, go to episode five on the normal NPC and press square for never world sightseeing. This allows you to go to the map and just walk around and speak to some NPCs. This can right here is the demon shogi in order to complete that quest you need to do the super overlord class now the good news about this one is you don't even need to do anything okay all you need to do is start the mission because on this one all you have to do is you have to change the demonic intelligence this is basically just a test of how well you know the demonic intelligence however you don't have to do that. All you have to do is start it. And you do have a pretty decent chance, really, of actually completing the stage without anything going wrong. Now, sometimes the stage will fail. Okay? Sometimes it will not clear. However, that is pretty rare. All you need to do is just start it as soon as it, like, as soon as you put it on the screen. Just start it off, and chances are you'll clear it. As long as you clear it within 10 turns, then it counts for the quest. Okay, now on to the last one. And I don't even need to go back to the quest board for this one because I can tell you exactly what it is. It is clearing the, uh, the Super Overlord tier of the Martial Arts Tournament. Now, just like we did for Demon Shogi on Episode 5, this time we're going to go to Episode 4, and we're going to press Square to Neverworld Visit again. 
This time, however, all we need to do is we need to go to the NPC here and speak to him. We are going to join the tournament and you just need to join the Super Overlord class. It does cost 1 million HL. However, by this point, that should be literally pocket change. If you want a super easy way of clearing that, just go ahead and use a Mecha Girl and you will very easily crush everything that that tournament has to offer. Now, once those four quests are complete, you will then get the Carnage Dimension Guide unlocked. However, there's still a few more things to do. Firstly, each of the stages has an extra Carnage stage here to unlock as well. Originally, you will only have these five stages, the first five stages available. Each episode does have its own unique Carnage stage up to episode 15. In order to unlock those episodes, what you must do is once you've unlocked the Carnage Dimension, you will then unlock a bounty quest. So the first one is Bounty Hado Z. Upon clearing all of these quests, you will also unlock 20 CP. Okay, so the first one will unlock as soon as you unlock Carnage Mode. Once you complete this quest, which requires you to complete Carnage Stage in Episode 1 in the Carnage Dimension. Oh, excuse me. Once you complete this stage and then turn this quest in, this quest will unlock for you to accept. Likewise, once you complete this one and turn it in, this one will unlock for you to accept and then you just have to keep moving down the list as you go now be warned some of these stages can be quite hard and some of them do have really annoying special effects for example i think it's episode 13 or episode 12 where everything is reverse damage so you need to kill everything with healing spells and so on so forth and there you go guys that is everything there is to know for the carnage dimension still that is going to be it for this video guys i hope it's helped and i hope you've enjoyed it of course if you want any more disguise 7 guides as i mentioned earlier check down below in the description for my disguise 7 playlist everything is going to be in there and of course, if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. And if the video really, really, really helped, smash that like button and of course, drop a comment as that greatly helps the channel out. And of course, if any of my videos have not answered any questions you have, then also feel free to join the Discord server to reach out to me on there. That is also linked down below in the description and you can also find it linked on my link tree along with all my other social medias. As always, everybody, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.